Since she has spent the majority of her adulthood on reality TV, a lot of people have taken an interest in Angela Simmons' private life. And she's one of those celebrities that appears to ignore all the red flags in her relationships. Her romance with Bow Wow went up in flames when she wouldn't give up the draws. Her former boyfriend, skateboarder Terry T.K. Kennedy, was locked up on first-degree murder charges until he was acquitted in December 2022. Things also didn't work out between her and rapper Oscar Skills Salinas, former NFL player Julius Peppers, Romeo Miller, Knowledge Cotty, and Ralph Lauren polo model Morgan O'Connor. And then came Mario Centel Guyton Mims, better known as Memphis rapper Yo Gotti. He took a different approach to catch her attention by name-dropping her in one of his most popular songs. But when that didn't work, he implemented the patience of Job to finally claim the woman of his dreams. Before we get into all the juicy details about their romance, be sure to head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of goodies, including butter toffee peanuts, lemon pepper beef jerky, and our brand new chicken and waffles popcorn. In October 2015, Yo Gotti released Down in the DM. In the lyrics, he raps about having a crush on Angela. People were rooting for them to become an item. However, during a December 2015 interview with a radio station, Angela said she was flattered and he was a nice guy, but she made it clear they weren't an item. That same month, she invited him to the launch party of her designer label, Fufi and Bella. They posed for pictures together, and Gotti sent her some flowers the next day to congratulate her on her new business venture. And that was the end of that. Then came 2016, and Angela once again made it clear to The Breakfast Club that Gotti was a nice guy, but they weren't dating. During that same interview, the topic of her intimate life came up, and when Charlemagne suggested that a man could trap her by getting her pregnant, Angela said it would never happen because she was saving herself for marriage. While Angela didn't reveal much information during that interview, Gotti appeared on Hot 97 in February 2016 to give the world more insight into their little situation. He told the radio hosts that Angela was a cool girl, but things with her never went to the level he was trying to take it. He admitted that he sent her flowers once and sent her gifts a few times, but he never got the opportunity to take her on a real date. Perhaps he wasn't really tripping off of Angela because he had someone else in his life. Gotti confirmed during his radio interview that he gifted one of his children's mothers $100,000 for Valentine's Day because she always kept it 100 with him. I feel like with you and the, and the mother of your child, um, why didn't it work out in the past? I ain't never said it didn't work out. Oh. <laughs> Oh. We feel, we feel cool. so you guys have a just a mutual understanding of what it is, and you take care of you take care of each other in a sense. Yeah, we take care of each other. Okay, <laughs> I like that. In okay. other words, it kind of sounded like he was still cracking her back. Two months later, in April 2016, Angela announced she was engaged, but she didn't reveal the identity of her fiance. After news of her engagement hit the web, a social media user photoshopped Gotti's face onto the popular Michael Jordan crying face meme. Gotti thought it was hilarious, so he reposted it. Online users also noticed that Gotti unfollowed Angela, but he confirmed to PST Network that he unfollowed everyone on Instagram about a month before Angela announced her engagement. A month after announcing her engagement, Angela revealed she was expecting a baby. Some people were disappointed that she didn't keep her promise of waiting until after she got married to become intimate. Others were more concerned about what Angela was getting herself into after her fiancé was identified as a man named Sutton Tennyson. His previous rap sheet was blasted all over social media. Even her uncle, Russell Simmons, was a little alarmed about her new relationship. During an episode of Growing Up Hip Hop, Russell grilled Angela about the things he had heard about Sutton's past. Angela stated that Sutton had a rough upbringing and he had been locked up on substance abuse charges and a domestic situation, but she insisted that he had turned his life around and was working as a real estate investor. Although she told People Magazine her baby was due in October, she gave birth to their son a month early in September 2016. From there, it didn't take long for gossip blogs to report that Sutton was stepping out on her. Although they had their issues, Angela told E! News in November 2016 that they set a wedding date for sometime in the summer of 2017. But the summer of 2017 came and went. 
In October of that year, Gotti teamed up with Chris Brown for the song Save It For Me. In the lyrics, he made it clear that he still wasn't over Angela. He raps, Pass my number to Angela, I thought I had her. Had her. I cuffed her, married, it made me mad. I respect it, I'm moving on, but the truth is I want a badder. badder. Maybe me saying her name made it move faster. faster. Maybe me being a G was kind of bad for her. Bad for but her. me being a G, I was glad for her. My baby mama was pissed, I ain't heard the last from her. So not only was he ticked off that Angela chose another man, but he also sort of kind of confirmed that his children's mother was still in the picture and upset with how he was fiending for Miss Simmons. In December 2017, Angela announced that she and Sutton were donezo. That meant she was free to date Gotti, right? Yeah, no. In January 2018, she was spotted courtside at several Toronto Raptors basketball games, and sources reported she had a little something-something going on with Serge Ibaka. But whatever was going down between them didn't last. And then came tragedy. Atlanta police called to Jewel Drive just before 5 o'clock this evening. That's when a man was found dead in the area with apparent gunshot wounds. No word tonight on who pulled the trigger. In November 2018, Angela's ex-fiance Sutton got into an argument outside his southwest Atlanta garage with a man named Michael Williams. Michael opened fire, shooting Sutton 13 times. Sutton was pronounced deceased at the age of 37. In a series of Instagram tributes, Angela posted a photo of herself, Sutton, and their son, who was two years old at the time, along with the caption, Thank you for leaving behind my greatest gift. Angela spoke at the sentencing hearing and told the court that she cried all the time, knowing that Sutton would miss out on seeing their son grow up. It also hurt to know that her son will never know what it's like to have his dad in his life. Michael was sentenced to life behind bars, plus an additional 15 years for possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. He'll be eligible for parole after serving a minimum of 30 years. Angela continued navigating through the dating world and gave everyone but Gotti a chance. But it looked like she really found the one when she went public with boxer Daniel Jacobs in August 2020. Meanwhile, Gotti was back to following Angela on Instagram and called her perfect on one of her posts. But Angela still wasn't budging. She was too busy nibbling on Daniel's cauliflower ears. So Gotti moved on and was seen leaving flirty messages underneath the Instagram posts of a woman named Yaya who previously dated boxers Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis. His insta-flirting paid off, and Yaya became his new boo thing. They were spotted having a romantic vacation in Mexico during the pandemic. But not everyone was thrilled with Gotti's new relationship. Yaya posted a picture of herself and Gotti for New Year's Eve, and an online user commented, I thought he had a crush on Angela. Yaya replied, not no mo. But the heart wants what the heart wants. Despite tricking on Yaya like there was no tomorrow, things between them didn't work out. And by January 2021, it appeared that things between Angela and Daniel were over as well, after Angela deleted all of his photos from her Instagram. With the stars finally aligned for Gotti and Angela, it appeared so. In September 2022, seven years after Gotti expressed interest in her, they were spotted hanging out at a club, and Angela was seen reciting the lyrics to Down in the DM. From there, they traveled to Dubai, Paris, and New York, and they celebrated Angela's 35th birthday together in September 2022. Angela was even in attendance at Gotti's mom's birthday party in November of that same year. They finally went Instagram official on December 31st, 2022, when Angela archived all of her Instagram images and put up two photos of her and Gotti. One of the captions reads, You are all I need and more. Gotti also got rid of all of his posts and shared a photo of them in the back of a car and a video of Angela all decked out for New Year's Eve. We're not sure what Gotti did to finally wear her down or if she just got tired and threw in the towel. But one thing we do know is that for how long he's been thirsting over her, he bet not mess this up. Are you surprised that Angela finally gave Gotti a chance? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.